Dear students, you are welcome in my online teaching classes. I am Sri Spal Chauhan. Today I have brought a video for you and this video is about the description of sounds in English and the topic comes under the title Phonetics and I hope you will get benefited from this video. Let's begin now. In this video I am going to describe vowels and consonant sounds when vowel sounds are produced air comes out of the mouth freely there is no closure and narrowing of the air passage producing the vowel sounds suppose this is the windpipe uh, there are two lungs this is trachea and the wind comes through the lungs and that enters the mouth and comes out right uh, you may see here the air comes from the lungs through trachea, this is windpipe, and it comes direct to the mouth passage. When we produce certain types of sound, then it comes out. So I'm telling you when vowel sounds are produced, air comes out of the mouth freely. Okay, while producing the vowel sounds, air moves out of the mouth without any hindrance. There is no closure, there is no narrowing of the air passage. But in the production of the consonant sounds, one has to close the air passage to produce. While producing consonant sounds, the following points have to be kept in mind. The air steam may come out from the lungs, okay, it's called pulmonic. So these are lungs and if the vocal cords vibrate then the speech sounds are voiced. If these do not vibrate then sounds produced are called voiceless. You are watching the picture of vocal cord here. If uh, there is a narrowing of this passage, this windpipe and these two parts come closer and there is vibration here then these sounds are called voiced and if there is no vibration and the vocal cords are kept apart then uh, air comes out freely from the vocal cord also and the sounds produced in this manner are called uh, voiceless sounds if the air stream passes through the mouth only then these are called oral sounds for example this is the picture of mouth if the air comes out uh, freely without any hindrance, these are called oral sounds. While producing oral sound, there is no closure, there is no narrowing of the air passage and the air comes out freely from the lungs. And if the air stream passes through the nose only, then these are called nasal sounds. If the air stream passes through both the mouth and the nose, these sounds are called nasalized sounds. The places where the closure and the narrowing of the air takes place are called the places of articulation. The manner in which closure and the narrowing of air is done is called manner of articulation. In English, all sounds are produced with the air stream that comes out of the lungs. The following consonant sounds are voiceless. P, T, K, CH. This is fa sound and this is tha sound, sa, sha, ha. These are voiceless. If you put your finger on this protruding part of the windpipe, then you shall feel vibrations. Then the sounds are voiced. If you do not feel vibration, then the sounds are voiceless. So in case of p, t, k, Ch, F, Th, S, Sh, and H. There is no vibration in the vocal cords, so these sounds are voiceless. But when we produce B, D, G, J, W, D, Z, M, N, Ng, L, R, Y, and W, the vocal cords vibrate and these consonant sounds are called voiced sounds. So dear student, this is all for the descriptions of uh, consonant and vowel sounds. In another video, I shall take up another topic for you. 
till then enjoy yourself and thank you very much